I've got my new folding buck saw here. So it just comes in this handy canvas bag. Comes in a couple of separate pieces, as well as the blade. You want to be very careful when you're sticking your hand in there. So you don't cut yourself on that. I got a paper cut the other day with this thing. It bled for like six hours. And you have the body of the saw. You've also got the cross membrane that applies the, uh, the back pressure. So, to put this saw together, all you do is open it up. I let the strings untangle themselves here. Make sure it's you know, fairly straight, because the whole point is you got to tangle them up later anyway. Oh. And you take the cross membrane, put it what would be log side down, just like that. Flip it upside down, now it's blade time. Make sure the blade is obviously facing the wood. That might not be obvious for everybody, but that's what you want to make sure. Just tucks into a little hole here in the back of the saw. This is the part you need to be very careful with. You want to make sure that you're not touching the blade at all. Put some pressure on this saw. Slide this piece behind. Lock it in. And as the saw tightens itself, that's going to pull the blade. And what you do, you've got yourself a loose saw here. Okay. You just take the stick, twist, 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 and as it twists up the rope, we'll put a whole hell of a lot of pressure on this. And you've got yourself a buck saw. A really good buck saw. These things run for about a hundred bucks uh, online. In the uh, Great Canadian Outdoor Equipment Company, or the Canadian Outdoor Equipment Company, I got mine for 50 bucks because a friend won it. And then as simple as sawing logs. There you go. Holding buck saw for the bush.